Amelia wondered how the universe looks to a photon which is a beam of light. How does time flow and without time is there space? Benjamin found that for a photon, which travels at the speed of light, time stands still and reduces the distances between all objects to zero, there is no time or space. Since there is no time the photon is everywhere in universe. Since there is no space the photon touches everything in universe. Amelia uses the Hindu archetypes of Brahman, the formless and creator of form. Are they mutually inclusive like the Purusha and Prakriti and their yang and yin cosmic entanglement? So, in Hindu archetypes the photon, light, is Purusha and the mass, classic reality, is Prakriti. In Hinduism, Purusha is an important archetype that represents the cosmic being or the supreme self. Purusha is considered the consciousness from which the entire universe originates. Purusha is beyond the limitations of time, space. Purusha embodies the concept of non-duality. It is one and in physics is the coherent isolated quantum state. There is no inherent separation between the individual self, Javatma, and the universal self, Paramatma. We are all from the one.